Hi everybody! And welcome to the character suggestion video for my upcoming Let's Play of Dungeon Hack, in which I'm going to play the characters that you suggest after picking them randomly from the comments in this video. I'm going to show you how about how to go about choosing that character, or creating that character, rather, in just a moment. Before I do that, I'm going to ask you to please uh, only post comments to this video that contain a suggested character. And I'm also going to ask you to please only uh, post one comment per user. Because that way I can have an easier time of randomly picking them and everybody gets the same chance. Now, should I pick one of you, uh, pick your character and, um, and be done with, it, with them, which means I get them killed, <laughs> um, you can feel free to, to create a second character. But please, only after that. Uh, so, one comment per person, and only comments with characters. And that's it. And I'm not going to reply to those comments, because I'd just be spamming my own suggestion video, and I don't want to do that. Now, creating a character. This is all fairly easy. Uh, I'm going to talk in detail about what you need to do to suggest a character, what information I'm going to need. But I'm also going to put all of that information in an abridged version in the description. So if you forget something after this video, it's not really important. You can just look in the description and there'll be all the information you need. Now, first of all, you can determine the sex your character is going to be having. Now, in this game, he's not going to have much of it. <laughs> uh, anyway. They can be male or female. This is uh, completely up to you. It doesn't won't have any impact on the game. As an example character, I'm going to create Goofeth, and he's male. Now, race. This is a bit more complicated, because depending on which race you choose, human, elf, half-elf, dwarf, gnome, or halfling, uh, you're restricted in your choice of class. And I'm going to go through each one of those, and if you pay attention to the left side of the screen, you're going to see that some of the choices, many of them in some cases, are going to be grayed out, and those you cannot choose. So that's something you need to bear in mind when creating your character. Now, as a human, you can be any class except for the multi-classes. See, these are grayed out. You can pick the yellow ones, you cannot be a multi-class character. As an elf, you um, can't be a paladin, you can't be a fighter cleric, you can't be a cleric thief, a fighter cleric mage, a ranger cleric, a cleric mage, or a bard. That's a mouthful. As a half-elf, you can be everything except for a paladin or a cleric thief. Now the little races, dwarfs, gnome, and halflings, have the least choice. A dwarf can only be a fighter, a cleric, or a thief, or a fighter multiclassed with cleric or thief. A gnome can be has the same choices, but you can also be a cleric thief. And a halfling could be a fighter, a cleric, a thief, or a fighter thief. So, these are your choices. So the second step is to choose a race. Goofith is going to be a half-elf. Now, then you can pick a class according to the race you uh, chose now, and Goofith is going to be a fighter cleric. Then there's the alignment. This is not super important because role-playing isn't the foremost aspect of this game. It's more of a dungeon crawling game really, but obviously you're going to be able to choose an alignment, a combination of the lawful chaotic axis and the good evil axis. So it can be lawful good, you can be neutral evil, you can be chaotic good, whatever you want. Um, now the alignment will also influence what kind of class you can choose to a lesser level than the race did. You need, for example, to be lawful good to be able to be a paladin. See? Some of those get grayed out again. You can't be a, a lawful good thief or you can't be a lawful good bard. You need to be good in order to be a, a ranger. And I think that's pretty much it. Yeah. See, if you're evil, you can't um, be a ranger or a paladin. And if you're lawful, you can't be a bard or... Yeah, there you go. Um, 
Like the alignment, that shouldn't be a problem. If for some way your alignment would forbid you from, from choosing the rest of your character, uh, I'm, going, I'm going to pick an alignment that's close to it, but I'm going to play it as the alignment that you chose. Because it's really not that important in this game. But goof of this alignment is chaotic and neutral. Now, the abilities, that's here in the middle. What I'm going to do here, basically the game allows you to increase all of those to the maximum, but obviously we're not going to do that. What I'm going to do instead is I'm going to assume that every character um, is... Let's reroll that because that's going to take ages. Uh, that every character and every one of his abilities is at a fair average of 12. And I'm going to allow you to tag two abilities. Now, strength is good for melee and, or, and for carrying things. Intelligence is for mages, for the spellcasting of mages. Wisdom is for the spellcasting of clerics and to a lesser degree, rangers. Uh, dexterity is for ranged combat and armor class. Constitution is for hit points and how much food you need. Charisma is uh, for, well, being a nice fellow. And I think for bards, although you need to you'd need to find that out. This is second edition Dungeons & Dragons rules. I'm not sure if bards use charisma or intelligence. Please find that out yourself if you want to play a bard. And this down here uh, is determined by the... The armor class and hit points are determined by the abilities. Levels, you start uh, at level 2 or 3, in this case 2 fighter, 3 cleric. Not at level 1, luckily. Now basically, what I'm going to allow you is you can tag two abilities and I'm going to max those out. For example, as a fighter cleric, uh, I would choose to tag Wisdom and max that out to 18, and Dexterity and max that out to 18. If, for example, you were to play um, a Thief Mage, you could max out Intelligence and Dexterity. If you're a fighter mage, you could max out strength and intelligence. You don't necessarily need to tag two abilities that make sense for your character. You can play a mage who's really strong and, and has high constitution. But the basic idea is everybody gets a 12 in each attribute, and you can tag two abilities and then increase those to the maximum. Hope that's fun. that sounds fair to you. And that is that. You can also, you can't change the age, but I'm going to allow you to pick your own age and um, I'll simply play it according to that. Now, we're done with that. Portraits. According to the character you gave me, I'm going to choose a portrait that suits you, but you can also choose one from the list here if you want to. These are six rows, one, two, three, and another one. Four, six, uh, five, six. And you can just tell me you want the third portrait in the fourth row. This one. If you'd like. Otherwise, I'm just going to pick one for you. And that is that. We're going to pick this one. And you can give your character a name, obviously, like so. Goofeth. That's pretty much it. Just a couple of things left. If you uh, you can tell me if you'd like if you prefer your character to be a ranged or a melee character, and you can tell me if it's a spellcaster if you prefer them to be an offensive or, or a defensive spellcaster. And lastly, if you'd like, and this is completely op optional, you can give your character some sort of quirk. For example, you could say that he's an obsessive compulsive person, and before he can open a door, he needs to dance around in front of it. Something like that, or he's a coward, or he's really, really stupidly brave. Whatever floats your boat. Now, since this is not a role-playing game, there's going to be limits to how this will have an impact on the gameplay, but I'll try to implement it as best as I can, as good as I can. And that's that. Now, I'm going to put all of that in the description so you can take your time and, and create your character. And just summing up, you need to tell me if you're male or female. You need to tell me what race you are, your character is, you need to tell me what class your character is, what his alignment is, the two abilities you want to tag that I'm going to max out, your character's age if you want to, his portrait if you want to, if it's going to be a melee or ranged um, preference, if it's going to be an offensive or defensive spellcasting preference, the name and 
if uh, you want to some sort of quirk that the character has. And that's that. As I said, it's going to be all in the description. Have fun creating your character and I'm looking forward to playing them. And I hope we're going to have to... I hope you're all going to, to be having a good old fun time at this. And yeah, have fun with your character. I'll try to play them as good as I can. And we'll see each other again once I do just that. Bye-bye.